हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आई होप यू आर ऑल डूइंग वेल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व चैप्टर थ्री फ्रैक्शन फॉर क्लास फोर टॉपिक्स कवर्ड आर गिवन ऑन द स्क्रीन वी विल सॉल्व फर्स्ट फिफ्टीन क्वेश्चन इन दिस वीडियो एंड रिमेनिंग क्वेश्चन वी विल सॉल्व इन नेक्स्ट वीडियो प्लीज वॉच वीडियो एंड डू लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल नाउ वी स्टार्ट विद सेक्शन वन मैथमेटिकल रीजनिंग क्वेश्चन नंबर वन Which of the following fraction represented the shaded part of the given figure? Now, in first figure, there are four equal parts, and out of four, two parts are shaded. Plus, in this figure, there are four total parts, and out of four, three parts are shaded. So, here option A is correct answer. Now, question number two: By how much is nineteen by twenty greater than seven by twenty? So here we subtract nineteen by twenty by seven by twenty. Here both denominator are same, so we can directly subtract. So nineteen minus seven is twelve. Twelve by twenty. So B is correct answer. Question number three. This mixed fraction is same as. Now to convert the mixed fraction, we Multiply five into eight plus seven. So five into eight forty forty plus seven forty seven. So it is same as forty seven by eight. A is correct answer. Question number four. Which of the following option will replace star in two by five is equal to dash by fifteen? Two by five. Five into what will come fifteen? Five into three will come fifteen. And we multiply three by denominator, so we multiply three in numerator also. Two into three is six. So here star is six. A is right answer. Question number five. How many one fifth will make whole one? To make whole one, we have to add one fifth is five time. Means here all denominators are same, so we can add one plus one plus one plus one plus one is equal to five. The so. It, Is equal to five by five. Five ones are five. Five ones are five. Is equal to one. So we need to add it five times. A is right answer. Now question number six. Twenty by fifteen is same as. Now we convert twenty by fifteen in its lower term. Both twenty and fifteen comes in the table of five. Five. So we divide both by five. Five fours are twenty, and five threes are fifteen. Here B is right answer. Question number seven: If x minus seven by nineteen is equal to five by nineteen, then x is equal to y. Now x is equal to here seven by nineteen is with minus sign, so it will become plus. On this side, and their denominator are same, so we can directly add five and seven. So five plus seven is twelve. So x is equal to twelve by nineteen. C is correct answer. The sum of shaded fraction of this and this is. Now first face are figure showing. Four equal parts out of four, one is shaded. Sum means addition, and second figure showing total part four, and out of four, one part is shaded. So here denominators are same. So we add one plus one two. Here B is right answer. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन वीच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग सेट ऑफ फ्रैक्शन आर अरेंज इन डिसेंडिंग ऑर्डर डिसेंडिंग ऑर्डर मीन्स बिग टू स्मॉल सो फर्स्ट बिग नंबर फॉलोड बाय स्मॉल नंबर इफ डिनोमिनेटर आर सेम इन ऑप्शन ए द नंबर आर अरेंज इन स्मॉल टू बिग थ्री फाइव सेवन नाइन इलेवन सो दिस इज इन करेक्ट आंसर इन ऑप्शन बी नाइन फाइव फोर सिक्स so it is also not in correct order option c these number are arranged in big to small order so c is right answer question number 10 which of the following can make the given number sentence true 2 by 3 and 1 by 4 now their denominator are different so we first find out their lcm the lcm of 3 and 4 is 12 थ्री इंटू फोर इज ट्वेल्व सो हियर वे मल्टीप्लाई बोथ डिनोमिनेटर एंड न्यूमरेटर बाय फोर एंड हियर फोर इंटू थ्री ट्वेल्व सो वे मल्टीप्लाय बोथ बाय थ्री सो इट विल कम हियर एट बाय ट्वेल्व एंड दिस साइड थ्री बाय ट्वेल्व सो नाउ वी कैन कंपेयर बिकॉज देयर डिनोमिनेटर आर सेम सो एट एंड थ्री एट इज ग्रेटर so a is right answer question number 11 3 times of 12, 25 by 81 is equal to dash 25 by 81 and 3 times mean into 3 here 3 ones are 3 and 81 divided by 3 is 27 so answer will be 25 by 27 b is right answer question number 12 what fraction of given figure is unshaded so we first find out the total equal parts total equal parts 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 there are 10 total equal parts and out of 10 there are four unshaded part so here d is correct answer Question number thirteen. What fraction of a given figure is unshaded? Now here we first find out the total equal part. So we first make total equal parts. There are total thirty-two equal parts, and out of thirty-two, sixteen are unshaded. So here sixteen ones are sixteen, sixteen twos are thirty-two. One by two, one by two means half. So here C is right answer. Question number fourteen. What fraction of the given figure is shaded? There are total ten parts, and out of ten, five are shaded. So A is right answer. Question number fifteen. Which of the following fraction represented the shaded part of a Given figure, two full figure means two, and in third figure, out of four, three parts are shaded. So it represent this frag make fraction. C is correct answer. Thank you for watching. I hope you like the video. Do practice well, and please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you.